Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, dear students, we are continuing chapter number 16, grade 12, Alkenes. In the previous lecture, I told you about the nomenclature of Alkenes and also relative stability. Now, we are going to uh, discuss here methods for the preparation of Alkenes. Then in grade 10 also, number one is a dehydration of alcohols. Dehydration of alcohols. Dehydration of alcohols. Dehydration means removal of water from the alcohol. Removal of water from the alcohol is called dehydration. So the dehydration process is used for the Using of different reagents, we call dehydrating agents. Dehydrating agents. So many dehydrating agents you use. I'm going to write here. You can use concentrated sulfuric acid as a dehydrating agent. So rehydrating agents, sulfuric acid concentrated and phosphoric acid, aluminum oxide, aluminium, phosphorus pentoxide. These may be used as dehydrating agents. So if you use aluminum oxide then you have to use 350 to 550 degrees centigrade. So this is the alcohol, ethanol. So 
this here uh, dehydration this hydrogen and OH so you will get a CH2 double bond CH2 and water so ethene is going to be formed so this is a dehydration in presence of aluminum oxide now uh, dear students also here it is Phosphorus pentoxide, sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid also used as a dehydrating agents. Now there are types of alcohols, primary alcohols, second I'll explain. Primary alcohols, secondary alcohols, tertiary alcohols. Ease of dehydration of various alcohols is in order. Tertiary alcohol can be dehydrated very easily. Tertiary alcohol, then secondary alcohol, then primary alcohol. Primary alcohol is dehydrated very difficult. Tertiary alcohol is going to be dehydrated easily. The conditions are not very hard. So this is the a general, uh, I told you, now I am going to start the primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols for a dehydrated. These are the dehydrated agents already I told you. And this you have to note uh, that uh, ease of the dehydration of different types of alcohol. Okay. So, first I am going to write CH3, CH2. CH two O H and no B no. This is a primary alcohol. One one propanol. Or uh, N propanol is called primary alcohol, so it will be very difficult. So 75% 75% concentration of sulfuric acid and 140 to 170 degree Celsius. Primary alcohol what we call it? because the OH group attached with the CH2. Two hydrogens are here and this functional group attached this carbon only attached with another one carbon. So this OH is add carbon number one. Add carbon number one. This OH present at carbon number one. And there are two hydrogen atoms. And this carbon attack with any one carbon atom. That's why I would like N propanol or 1 propanol. So, very hard conditions 75% concentration of sulfuric acid and temperature is also high, 140 to 170 degrees centigrade. Then the dehydration will take place and the Dehydration means you have to remove the hydroxyl and the hydrogen from the adjacent carbon atoms. Means hydroxyl group you are removed from here, so hydrogen must remove from this carbon. That's why this is a CH3, then CH double bond, CH2, and water. So you will get propene. And propanol changes into propene by dehydration process. Conditions are very important, and this is a primary alcohol. So, if there is a, some mistake in your book, please look what I am writing here. You have to follow this one. Okay. If you have a secondary alcohol. 
एच थ्री सी एच ओ एच सी एच थ्री दिस इज दियल कॉल वी कॉल आइसो आइसो प्रोपेन लोल टू प्रोपेन लोल Now see the difference between n-propanol and isopropanol. The hydroxyl group is in middle. So this OH is the one that happened here. It's one thing I told you here. This CH2 two hydrogen are attached with the functional group. But here the functional group attached with the one hydrogen carbon. And so the carbon which is attached with the functional group in the primary case only one but this carbon directly attached to two carbon atoms this is a secondary carbon that's why this type of alcohol is a secondary alcohol the secondary alcohol can be dehydrated easily as compared to the primary alcohol the conditions are about 60% And the temperature comes to reduce 100 degrees Celsius. This is about the secondary alcohols. Ease of dehydration is going to be increased. The tertiary alcohols is very easy to dehydrate. Secondary alcohols then. Primary alcohol is very difficult. That's why you are seeing the conditions say okay. Now, students, it's your choice. Two have three hydrogens are here, three hydrogens are here. You can remove hydrogen from here, and the hydroxyl are from this. That's why again, this will be a CH2, and there in a CH, and there in a CH3. Double bond is created, and the water is here. Again, you will get propene. You will get again propene. So this is the dehydration of secondary alcohol. In the tertiary alcohol, I'm going to write the tertiary alcohol now. CH three O H like this. This is the And this carbon, this carbon, the tertiary carbon, this the functional group, this functional group attach this carbon, and this carbon attach more three carbon atoms without any hydrogen. This is the identification. So this is called a tertiary. Butanol. Tertiary butanol, tertiary butyl alcohol, or one, two, three, two methyl, two propanol, two methyl, two propanol, two methyl, two propanol. This is tertiary alcohol. Conditions are soft. Very soft conditions are here. Only twenty percent. Only you use twenty percent alcohol here. So twenty percent sulfuric acid concentration percentage and temperature is about eighty. Five degrees Celsius. So there will be a dehydration. So in this case, what you will get, you can remove the hydrogen from any carbon, from here, from here, from here. There is no hydrogen here, so why you remove from here? You can remove from here. So I will write CH two. This is a CH two. Then there the carbon down branch C 
CN3 and also here in the CN3 water is going to be formed here so must give a double coated water this is the alkene this alkene is called 1 2 3 uh,
not dissolved in water, but dissolved in alcohol. So we call alcoholic potassium hydroxide. Alcoholic potassium hydroxide is going to be dehydrated. Alcohol potassium hydroxide, so hydrogen and chlorine are going to be dehydrated, removed. So you will get Of 
ஆயிரத்தி எண்ணூத்தி
But if you have a benzene, C6N6, pass hydrogen gas, influence of magnetic nickel, 250 to 300 degrees centigrade, you will get cyclohexane. C6H12 cyclohexane. It means you add six hydrogen atoms. This is also called hydrogenation. So catalytic hydrogenation of alkenes is used in the laboratory as well as in the industry. Uh, you are seeing hardening of oil in industry. Oil change into ghee. Oil is an unsaturated. Oil is unsaturated. Contains double bond. So when I change into margarine or ghee, so I use the hydrogenation process. So margarine or ghee is converted from the uh, oil is called hydrogenation. So dear students, the, now because of the world is very fast, we have no time for the exercise or walking. So all the doctors are advised to use a oil. So different type of oils are here. Uh, olive oil is the best one, which is I have a high degree of concentration, sunflower, also other oils. So the quality of oil depends upon degree of unsaturation. The oil which has a high unsaturation value, that is going to be good for the health. And if uh, using heat, pass hydrogen gas through industrial process, and it changes into semi-solid, that's called a uh, ghee we call it. And uh, uh, you can uh, see that if the, you can also, in your home, you can uh, mix little experiment that how much the unsaturation is present in the oil. Uh, some oils are there in the market, but uh, they are, they are uh, means cheap, cheaper. And if you uh, buy the cheap oil, and if you buy the expensive oil, so cook the food by using these two oils and put in the refrigerator. So you will find after two, three hours that the cheap oil will give the fat. It gives fat on the top. Means degree of unsaturation is less. More saturation is there. So it is converting by decreasing temperature, it is converting into fat. But the oil which is a high quality, just like I told you, olive oil, uh, it's not going to be converted into the fat because it has a very high degree of unsaturation. So dear students, this is about the dehydro uh, hydrogenations of uh, alkyl uh, halides. And I told you the chemical uh, reactivity for the alkenes, uh, uh, hydrogenation, which is the exhaustion process, 120 kilojoules per mole amount of energy is evolved, and 1 to 5 atmospheric pressure by the saturation you have to use a, a catalyst. So catalyst I told you any nickel is going to be used and also platinum, palladium can be used in the room temperature, they are expensive. Platinum is a very expensive metal, but palladium also, nickel is not as, that's why we use heat. So dear students, we are going to uh, stop here, and inshallah next uh, lecture, uh, we will do the uh, uh, other properties of the uh, alkenes. This is a very long chapter. There are many, many topics are here. 
and solve the exercises questions and also federal board uh, papers. Thank you very much.